healers welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we have another unbox flip through and i was really looking forward for this one it is the oracle of the shapeshifters okay by lucy cavendish and the artwork by jasmine becker griffith i really like both of these women right i like the art style of jasmine becker griffith i do have other of her decks here i'll show you very quickly but all of those i have uh, the full flip through anyway already in my channel so i'll leave the playlist below of the unbox and flip throughs and you'll see all of the other ones and uh, lucy cavendish has lovely way of writing she has beautiful guidebooks in many of her decks so i really like this the two of them combined and this is one that was on my wish list for a bit and i just finally decided to purchase it was on sale as well i'll leave all the links below like always and uh, i just took the plastic off but i didn't go through them yet okay so just to show you very quickly the other decks that i have from lucy cavendish is the magical spell cards i really like this one and uh, like i said i already have the the walkthrough okay and i also have here which is the two of them again lucy cavendish and jasmine you know back at griffith caught together here with the oracle of shadows and light love this one very very much and also with the artwork the same artwork but uh, not the same author with uh, we do have uh, beautiful creatures which I have shown in the channel just last week. So I really, really happy with this one. Okay, Oracle of Shadows and Light. It's an Oracle deck, Spell Cards Oracle deck, and this is a Tarot deck. Okay, and just so you know, guys, I do also have in the channel the Book of Shadows and Light by Lucy Cavendish. Okay, she has this. This is a, it's a book journal. Okay, it's more of a journal. It has a space here for you to write. I have already started writing few things here lots of space but there's things for you to see as on well, pictures and she has things written on other pages for you okay lots of information lovely beautiful pictures i have a, a video showing this guidebook as well okay oh sorry this this journal as well okay so if you wanted to check this one i'm not going to show everything here because i have a full video and i have already started writing things here and there's still loads loads of space here so if you like you know that kind of um it's book for you to write it you know then but it's not just a space for journals so it's loads of good information here as well and uh, going straight now finally into this one guys um the arc of shapeshifters you can see here comes on the sturdy box okay it is the the second edition i, I mean like the there's a different edition of this same uh, oracles okay they have like um one that was in Australia was uh, many cards have been changed and the guidebook a little bit changed as well to adapt to maybe younger generation as well. Okay, so some of the some words have been removed, that kind of thing. There's some walkthrough online showing the comparison of them. I actually wanted this one here anyway. Okay, it's a 45 cards and 176 page guidebook. Okay, open here in the side. And I really like the colors. This image here on the front end you know, of the box and the guidebook is just beautiful. One thing that uh, I know that I wish they had, I know they don't have, is um, one card with this picture. So this picture here is just on the guidebook and on the front of the box, but they are not on the cards, okay? It's not one of the cards, because many times, you know, one of the cards is the front of the the box and the, the guidebook, but not in this case. You can see here this beautiful kind of purple colors. I really love this image on the front. And like always, I will go through a quick flip through and then we will shuffle here together and get one card of the day for us, okay? You can see here, I didn't take that off yet. Okay. And it is on the shiny side, okay? And they come a little bit stuck together because they are like just a bit shiny. Just when they just arrive, it's a little bit stuck, you know? You can see here, like on the shiny side. And they are quite thin, okay, guys? The other um, oracles have better cardstock. This is quite bendy. I don't mind because I really love the images, but it's on a thinner side. And uh, I feel like they slide. They could get a little bit stuck in the beginning, but they slide well. And you can see here the backs, you know. Interesting. This is something that's different from the other, the other one as well. Just comparing here with the Shadows and Light, okay? The other deck. Is the exact same size okay in case you have this other one cardstock i feel like this here is a little bit better it's on a thinner side of this one as well okay guys but this one here is a, a bit a little bit thinner okay but nothing that um, to take away from the artwork and all these beautiful cards i'll zoom in like always just to give you 
all the details possible you can see here wolf moon i will watch over you and you can see they have numbers here okay so it's easy to find on the guidebook i'm not a huge fan of the backs but i don't mind them you know they're different anyway this is beautiful so 45 cards isn't it yes 45 cards and um, you can see here is the name of like representing the card and the meaning is also so kitsune i will show you whom to trust i like that lucy cavendish has beautiful interesting keywords you know that you can really think and meditate on it can really respond to different kind of questions little red writing hood i'm not a victim brother raccoon a safe place for you to go butterfly ferret you can see here the artwork is a bit different in each of them the fairy bee my life is sweet bats in the belfry you can achieve great things you can see the kind of artwork is a little bit darker it's mystic it's which is very interesting you know i really like this this artwork beauty and the beast so it's a mix of the fairy tales and the stories you can see how it's a bit stuck with a different twist it's not white and her animal friends hedgehog love positive uplifting new friends and like i said guys we'll go and get one at the end we'll, shift, we'll shuffle here and we'll get one okay see so how it comes a bit stuck alice in the sea of tears they have beautiful expressions you know on them like these big eyes and the expression the golden phoenix time to say goodbye you can see here you can really meditate on the image as well miss spider web reconsider your alliances make new new connections your imaginary friend beautiful deep dark sea mermaid a beautiful little worm some interesting ones little wolf girl it is all right to be alone i feel like you can get some good information add on to readings or card of the day as well if it has ask questions you know i can use on my lives as well dragonfly mermaid you've attracted wonderful news elizabeth and the lion frog princess i'm not uh, gonna make it too long because i wanted to read at the end as well so you can pause to read the full message if you want but the flight in the gloom i don't know if i can pronunciate this right quetzal cotland the priestess of time the time has come the time to act is now beautiful card it's a little bit different from the other ones you know like the expression as well see it's a little bit different it's more not as much as doll but more human like this one see here a bit stuck but it's just you know as soon as you get it unstuck once you know it won't be like this the delicate fairy and her ferrets the mermaid and the turtle pose brave flight two kittens you see the eyes the expressions strange companions in stranger places Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. sight. The Black Cat, Lost Magic Atonement Rebalance. Some lovely ones. I like this one. Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. Beautiful card. A loyal guardian. A magical protector is there for you. A twist in the tail. The unexpected, a change you did not see coming. You are unlike anyone else. This is a beautiful card. Love the butterfly here, the details. The unending sadness of looking back 
interesting keywords really the, the fairy ring secret bezel armor you have a mighty shield little only wisdom as light as a feather little brother little sister siblings younger friends responsibility mermaid in a koi pond it's a very beautiful one snake princess the serpentine path to power orca magic the akashic libraries open so many interesting keywords the mermaid of immersion complete commitment and the last one is the dragonling garden a new world is born those are really nice cards you know i was really looking forward to this one they're quite big here on the hand to shuffle you know so maybe you can shuffle facing up and uh, i really like the zoom out a little bit i really like the colors you know the I know that from this first version to this one, there's way smaller borders here, which I appreciate that. Just on the sides, nothing on the top. Some of the images are a little bit more zoomed in. See, like, see the difference here. But they do have beautiful expressions and uh, definitely different keywords that you can ask so many different kind of questions as well. I feel like you can get deep here with these cards, you know, with this kind of message. I really like that. Let's see what we get here from the guidebook today. Okay, guys, so what's the message the shift, Shifters Oracle can give us today? What can we hear? Maybe this one is kind of coming out here. A loyal guardian, a magical protector is there for you. Okay, let's see here. And uh, the guidebook here, guys, I didn't go through it much, but uh, you can see here. Um, she will talk about how you know about the cards. Hold it back. I think this there were some spreads as well. They are numbered anyway, so it's easy to find. Yeah, about the author, the artist. Yeah, it's really nice. 176 pages anyway. So it is about uh, full page, maybe two pages for each page and a half, two pages for each. So this one is number 33. Okay. 33 you can see here yeah. so you get uh, about the uh, no the the card about the loyal guardian in this case and then a loyal guardian speaks and a divination uh, lots of messages lots of information here i read here for you okay about the loyal guardian this sweet fairy being holds within her arms a fierce loyal and very strong rottweiler who will keep all predators and bullies at bay he is unwaveringly devoted to protecting his fairy friend and to protecting you. The loyal guardian is so powerful that he is unable to be hurt and he will stand guard and watch, growl at, fight and even kill at who attempt to harm you at this stage. This card is the sight of a fierce, protective magic surrounding you or another one with you who is fragile. Those who need protection are like newborns. They may have been bullied or hurt, picked on, and teased to a point where they feel it's better to be ignored and left alone than to be noticed and hurt again and again. When this card makes its appearance, those with unjust desires or intentions toward you or a vulnerable person you know will be warned off before they have a chance to come to close. You are very protected at this time. Have no fear. And there is a long information here as well for the loyal garden speaks. And I'll just jump into the divination part, okay? The divination you will have with you energetically at this time a very protective guardian there may be some new people or situations in your life to make you feel threatened uncertain or uncomfortable this wariness has been noted and this shapeshifter in the form of a large devoted and very powerful companion will be at your side sniffing out danger sounding an alarm at any threat even readying the fight for you should it come to that if there has been bullying or behavior that has intimidated you, you have someone in your side who will not let you down and who will not let you face this alone. 
very interesting message here for us guys you know about uh, you know having someone protecting you even if when you don't realize maybe you know higher powers in this case they say shapeshifters you know some kind of being there is there for you to help you out and protect you so very interesting here in case you need it this time just to not be you know fearful because there will be some kind of protection around you and you don't need to worry about it okay so interesting message here to finish this off guys this is a very interesting deck okay and um i definitely wanted to use it more in my channel you'll definitely see here okay and maybe on my lives as well because there's some interesting twists here and kind of deep information that you can get here all right so if you like this like always guys let me know and um, leave a comment subscribe to the channel share you know and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching